It's a baby boy! Yay! Oh my god, the baby boy is missing half its head. No, what have I done wrong? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Tani here and we are back for another rotation of the Build a City Challenge. Rotation number three is beginning and we have the Mayor family over here. So we have Andrea Hogan. She just got home from work and she's making herself a lovely chef salad for dinner, an, an early dinner if you will. Now it's been a hot minute since I last played this family. I really don't remember actually what happened. I think they just were like doing pretty well. I think they were getting promoted and stuff. So yeah, anyway, it's been a long, long time since I've played them. I really, I gotta admit. Kendrick just came home too. He didn't get a promotion today, but I hope he might soon. Oh yeah, that's because he needs the charisma, logic, and creativity skill points. So he actually wants to gain all of those points. So after he He's gone to the toilet. I'm gonna have him go to the furniture store and then we'll have him buy a mirror for us. Alrighty, so here we are at Weiss Furniture and we're gonna buy a mirror. <laughs> Kendrick, as usual, is just, you know, his playful self. He's wanting to play in the puddles. Um, I think our best bet is to buy this one. And honestly, if I seem a little spaced out right now, I've had a long day and I just built a dresser kind of situation or it was like a cabinet kind of thing so i'm really tired um excuse me what did we just all see that oh my god i'm literally speeches about the what what did i just actually witness he's got the hots for rowena and also nobody nobody's letting us pay the service here is disgusting hello like is anyone is anyone gonna take our payment hello oh my god it's literally nighttime nobody's taking our payment finally okay so we finally got to make our payment but let's have him come and greet rowena then i guess since he's just she's out here like admiring this guy and flirting with him if you don't remember in the last episode rowena literally quite literally got pregnant with this guy's baby not this guy this other guy that she's dating oh and she doesn't even like him she just keeps going up to him these sims make zero sense to me so i'm just gonna have kendrick head on home <laughs> this is just too much you guys i love how we're literally just like a second into this episode and like i, I just can't believe that he was finding her so hot i'm just super surprised it is not good it's not a good look it is not a good look i'll be the first one to say it and andrea actually wants to reach cooking level four with which is great. Um, I might just go ahead and get them a TV. I know I just went to the furniture store and I could have bought it there, but I didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, I'm dumb. What can I say? So I'll just get one here and then I'll also get a couch. But it is still, according to my rules, it's still acceptable because all I care about is that they have a furniture store in town and that's basically the milestone that has to be reached before we can buy anything from the catalog. So so it is fine. This is cute. I like that. It's kind of funky. I, I like it. Okay. We'll have her come out here and she can watch some TV. The Yummy Channel. Alrighty. And Kendrick is back. I'll put the mirror in the bedroom, I guess. I'll put it right here. And he can just come out here and practice his speech. And we'll just, you know, have both Sims skill up for the rest of the night before they go to sleep. Okay. So Andrea actually got her cooking point that she wanted and she's getting kind of tired so oh oh okay so i see what's happening here let me just do this um so i was gonna send them to bed however these sims obviously had a different plan in mind which i don't mind because i would in this episode like to get them pregnant hopefully maybe even have the baby in this episode but we'll see if that's possible i really want them to have a baby neither of them wants to have one but i want them to have one so you know what it's all about what i want but anyway i'm just gonna have them woohoo and then we will just fast forward till the morning so kendrick is getting ready for work unfortunately he's gonna go to work hungry but at least he's showered that's the main thing i think it would be not a great look for the mayor to show up to work stinky he can have a snack at work
work, but he definitely should not go there smelling like crap. I will have Andrea make a little bit of cereal for breakfast, and now it's time for her to go to work as well. Um, <laughs> I always forget how much these these two just, you know, their rotation is always just them going to work and coming home and then skilling up and going to work, and I'm aware that it's not super, like, fascinating to view yet, but, like, hopefully they'll have a baby soon. I really, really, really want them to have a baby in this rotation, but anyway, I will just zoom by uh, to the point where they come back. Oh, so I got this chance card that says, it's every restaurant's worst nightmare, the party of 25 teenagers with no reservations. Honestly, as a former waitress and hostess, I can tell you this is the worst. It is truly the worst scenario imaginable for anybody working in the food industry. They showed up on the doorstep with no warning and they're getting rambunctious while they're waiting for a table. At this point, they're starting to annoy the other guests. Andrea could tell them that there is no room and hope they don't make a scene, or she could make room for them by asking that last elderly group she's waiting on to leave. They haven't ordered anything in 40 minutes. Who gets the boot? Those darn kids. I honestly don't care. <laughs> Andrea walks over to the teens and explains that they're very busy tonight and they probably won't have room for the whole group. Well, what's all that space over there? One asks, pointing at the area near the elderly couple. At a loss for a response, Andrea asks them to leave and the group becomes irate. Someone asks to speak for to a manager. Andrea reluctantly fetches her boss, who quickly diffuses the situation by splitting the group up into two smaller groups and plying them with a few free appetizers. Andrea loses two creativity points for failing to find a better solution to the problem. So the solution would have been to kick out an elderly couple? I doubt it. That's like horrible. Well, whatever. It's not like she really needed her creativity. Oh my god, she still has so many points. Okay, so we didn't really lose anything. But oh my god, that's crazy. I feel like kicking another group of people out of the place would have been way worse. <sighs> anyway, at least we didn't get fired. Oh my god, I was literally gonna send Kendrick to Woohoo with... Andrea and they are getting to it and why why this is the worst thing that could happen in the sims 2 I hate it guys I just heard him I heard the baby chimes they're gonna have a baby and I think we might have enough time in this episode to actually give birth to it which is super exciting um but anyway they're just gonna go to sleep now I guess it hasn't been a particularly interesting day apart from getting pregnant, which they don't know yet, but we know, so that's great. But Alrighty, so they're both waking up and they're just gonna get ready for work, I suppose. I'm also dying to open up a clothing store in town so that we can change her out of this tragic greenish, I don't even know, green, yellow type of dress? I don't know. It's not a great look, but I'm just dying to get her, to free her from this one hideous look. Oop, and she was thrown up. Oh my god. Okay, and it's her carpool again. Once again, as well. And, um... We'll head on out to work. I literally forgot how repetitive this household can get. Oh my god, I'm so petrified. But anyway, I'll just speed through until they come home. She brought Brittany, what's her name? Brittany Wendland. Wendland, home from work. She's cute. She looks pretty. You are simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know, Andrea. Your reputation is on the way up. Awesome. Oh my god, are we making a friend? Let's talk to her. Let's Let's just like, I don't know, hang out. That's nice. Oh, and Kendrick's home too. He wants to woohoo, of course. He wants to gain the creativity and logic skill points. I guess I could buy whatever is needed for the creativity point, which I think would be an easel or like, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll buy them the easel. I don't see why not. I love it. He's also getting to know his wife's new friend. That's great. I guess they'll just hang out for a little bit. That's nice. And I I actually think that Kendrick's one true hobby is art. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, he got that like thing where he like realized it was his one true hobby. That's really nice. That makes me feel like as mayor, he is going to really put money and effort towards supporting young people's like arts and stuff. So maybe at some point when we're super, super rich, we'll have him kind of like, I don't know, open up like the Sinclair Arts Gallery and I don't know, like it can have like interactive things. Like I'll put like easels and stuff in there. I think that could be so fun. Oh my gosh, she's getting her bump. 
Yay! With a little one on the way, Andrea has been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. For sure. This is Kendrick's beautiful painting. He's obviously got an eye for aesthetics because this is beautiful, of course. Stunning work of art. Not. All right, so Andrea and Kendrick are waking up. I actually don't know what I'll have Andrea do. She wants to serve some food as well, which is nice. So I guess we'll do that. She can, she can just eat everyone's leftovers and eat some food and all that good stuff. And then I guess I'll have her serve some omelets since that's what she wants to do. And oh my God, okay, Lee Lewis, thank you. Come and fix my TV now, please. Oh my God, finally. Anyway, that's her now. She's done cooking up her omelets. We'll just have her put them away. Um, anyway, we're just gonna come on out here and we're gonna watch some more Yummy Channel and she's gonna skill up and that's good. She is going to do something useful with her time while she's pregnant. I'm actually obsessed with this cat. Couch. I think it's really cute. I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree, but I think it's cute. I'm also really, really excited to have the first kids be born, I think, in this episode, I hope. Um, and I also wanted them to buy another community lot, but I don't know. Maybe I need to wait on that. Maybe we should just do it. Maybe we should just buy another park, probably. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, I'm gonna do that in a moment. Um, so her needs are actually doing horrendously, which is terrible. Um, so I'm just gonna have her probably probably get up and have some leftovers, then go back to sleep because this is not good. Um, however, I will have Kendrick actually come here and he's gonna buy another community lot. I know I should probably focus on actually putting more stuff on the lot that we already have, which is over there, Hampton Park East, but I'm gonna buy this one over here, Hampton Park West, just cause I <laughs> want to have more community lots in this town so that we can actually add another sim. However, I have been thinking about just honestly adding another sim at the end of this rotation anyway and have them be the general store owner because I just really think we need some fresh new sims in town and also I've been thinking about making some townies as well so I think I'm gonna do that off camera and then just add another sim to this this town because at this point we have four and I said I would add a sim every five community lots but I really I feel like we've been playing with the same four so 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 many times in a row and I just want to add someone else and honestly at the end of the day it's my rules and I think I'll just do it but anyway I will have them buy Hampton Park West it is quite pricey but it's okay and at least that means that we'll have four community lots instead of oh <laughs> Okay, um, what was I gonna say? Four community lads instead of five, but that's still close enough so that I don't feel bad, but, um, okay, she's struggling. <laughs> it's the struggle life when you're pregnant. Okay, Andrea, use the bathroom and then honestly just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh my god, she keeps falling to sleep in her food. She can't even finish it. That's so bad. So Kendrick is just watching TV. Oh, I guess he's not. Um, I'll have him take a shower, I guess, for the time being. Oh, her bump went even bigger. Yay! Okay, go back to sleep, girl. You really need it. And um, I think Kendrick will also go to sleep and then we'll just see what happens again in the morning and I'll just fast forward ahead of, you know, I'll just, I'll do my little fast forwarding magic. Okay, so it is now the next morning and they are both having their omelets and hanging out and... <sighs> Andrea is just not doing very well at all. I tried to boost her fun up by having them woohoo, which obviously worked for Kendrick, but it did not work for Andrea whatsoever, evidently. But she's gonna just take a bubble bath and all that stuff, and we'll have Kendrick tend the phone. Um, sorry, Andrea's not available. We'll also have him clean up a little, and then he's also gonna take care of the, the mail and all of the bills and stuff. Our bills today are 22 simoleons. How on earth are we gonna be able to survive that? That is such a massive burden. Burden. Also, I'm just gonna sell this painting. I'm just gonna do it. I don't really care. Um, and I'll just have him. Oh, he didn't want to do that. Oops. I'm sorry. He wants to do a public woohoo. Okay. Um, I guess we can think about that. That's my bad that I didn't realize he didn't want to. He didn't want to sell the painting. I feel really bad. Oops. Uh, and Andrea needs to eat again. And her fun is still dragging through the mud. I just like, nothing I do is making it better. I feel so bad. I'm gonna have her watch a a comedy movie 
because she wants to watch a movie and her fun is really, really low. Let's watch Chicken, the comedy movie. Okay, so she should probably also take a nap now. So Kendrick really wants to be friends with Brandy and I've had that locked in the whole entire time. So I'm just gonna have him give her a call and we'll just have him talk to her for a little bit. I'm also so stressed because this is like almost the end of our rotation and I was supposed to go and do some fancy things to <laughs> the park, but we also don't have that much money. So I don't know. Oh my God, she's having her baby. Yes, it's baby time. <gasps> I'm so excited. So the baby is definitely gonna get Kendrick's last name. This is the Sinclair family. It's a baby boy. Yay. Oh my God. The baby boy is missing half its head. No. What have I done wrong? I actually don't know what we're gonna name him. Um, I don't know. I feel like they would give their son a very kind of classic name. So I think I'm gonna call him Eric. I feel like Eric Sinclair is a name that they would give their baby. But also, um, I'm sorry about this. Like, I don't know why half of his head is missing i think it's one of my mods um so whoops my bad uh he's kind of cute he has blonde eyebrows which i'll definitely have to fix but he's he's cute he's adorable and i realized i haven't actually bought a crib or anything for him i i don't know i really apparently don't know how to play the sims like i <laughs> I'm not doing a good job at all taking care of these sims so i'll just put the crib in the parents bedroom for now and the other stuff can go in the bathroom i think yeah that works and we'll put little baby eric in the crib how fun oh my gosh he is the first baby born in hampton fields and he's missing half of his skull which is kind of scary i'm not even gonna lie no no don't go hold him kendrick we need you to go to sleep and andrea just don't even don't even think about it put him back in the crib no stop and she's gonna go and she's gonna have a chef salad real quick before bed and then she's gonna head on over to bed and that's exciting though we have our first little baby we have our first back baby our build a city baby yay <laughs> i'm so excited and then rowena's baby is gonna be born soon as well so that's super fun but oh my god i forget how freaking annoying it is that all of them all the time want to hold the baby um but i guess actually in this episode i won't renovate the park because i think what i'll have to do is i'll have to sometime soon add a another room to the build to have a room for the baby and I think it'll have to be like back here or something. I'm not really sure. I might have to add it on to here or somewhere. I think I'll do that off camera, but yeah. So I think I have to save their money for that. Somehow we just burnt through <laughs> all of their money in no time, which I'm a little bit amazed as to how on earth that happened. Oh my God, he was afraid of changing his own son's diaper. Grow up, like seriously, grow up. Men ain't shit. Anyway, <laughs> he also conveniently has the day off today which is great and with that i shall leave you guys here we have now officially ended our rotation with the sinclair family who had their little baby eric which is so 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 exciting our first official baby has been born i just wish he had a skull that's like fully formed and not like that is kind of terrifying like when you zoom in like that that's kind of scary look at that it's like he's his whole head just disappears it's really really scary but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i feel like i was really low energy in this episode and i feel bad it's just because i literally feel like i've just had the longest day <laughs> and i had built a dresser right before i filmed it so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time bye Bye.